everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of my 100 days project. For the 100 days project of 2017 I decided to make 100 found poems and I used the novel Cranford for my source material so all of my found poems are made from words that are located in the novel. So for these poems we are looking at 81 to 90 so these are the different poems that I created for that particular set. I have an image here from a magazine of these tulips, these white tulips and I just stuck them onto a tag here here just for a little bit of drama and difference and I added some sari ribbon at the top here and then this is just some under paper that I had that was on my desk so I just cut it up I thought that the markings on it were quite cool I just added my phone poem down here at the bottom I have of course my anatomical heart wouldn't be complete without some kind of spooky gory detail in my work and I have my fan poem down here and I have some lovely gold gouache here you can just see it shining it's, I love it I love using gold gouache in my, in my work I literally just take it with my finger and just rub it on I love it so this is some print this is some painted paper I had in my stash on the back here is an old rub on and it didn't come out very well but I like it nonetheless because I like the kind of distressed look it almost gives it and I have just some random paper stuck on here and my fan poem down at the bottom here. This one here was actually from another project that I was doing but I had the images ready so I thought what the heck I'll just use it. Uh, so I actually had typed this out on my typewriter so this was a poem that I had made previously still with the Cranford novel um, but I typed it out here it was another one that I had used in my art journal and I really liked the words so I decided I would type it out and use it again and I have my image here of like an old kind of distressed barn and I have these kind of ribbons of paint coming out of the window here on it and on the other side I have got some stencils from Stencil Girl these are Roxanne Coble stencils and again I have typed out my poem that I had used in a previous art journal spread and I still have the ribbons of paint and things going across here so this one was a paper bag and I added in some paper hole reinforcers just because it was getting quite abused in my folder and I think I might have to do something more with it because it's still quite delicate. The paper bag is not particularly thick but I painted just some random with stencils there and I added in some flower doodles on the front here and I have my poem here and on the back I have some black gesso and a Victorian scrap flower and my poem just here. And on the inside I've got a large black tag and I just literally just stamped some stamps here. This is Art Pots by Robin Marie. This is another stamp by Robin Marie. And I have my painted paper here and my poem and of course some silver washi tape. And on the other side I have just got some scraps. Uh, again this is from Robin Marie and I used my wax crayon here and this is just some random pieces of scraps that I had left over from jelly printing on tissue paper and my washi tape added in here. So I hope that you enjoyed poems 81 to 90. I'm going to link in the description box below so that you can see the whole gallery together. Thanks so much for watching.